it's Lauren Yates from Rave It Up here, and I'm privileged to be here today with country music singer Jasmine Ray. Hi, Jasmine. How are you Hello. going today? Good. How are you? I Thanks am for having fantastic. Me. Thank you for coming on. It's so much better than a phone interview, having you here in person. Absolutely. And she likes our little picnic here today. <laughs> How can Thanks I refuse? To, I know. It's, it's cold out here, so having a nice tea is beautiful. Yeah. Thanks to Five Vocal Tea. Go check them out. It's delicious, isn't it? Ah. And the yeah. little seed is opening up like a flower. There you go. Now wow. you see what I'm talking about. I love that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, this is your first time on the show. Yes. So we'd love to get to know you a little bit better. Okay. And I think we should start from the beginning because that only makes sense too, right? All right, yes. <laughs> we'd love to know, is music what you always wanted to do when ever since you were little? Yeah, I always wanted to do music. It's not the only thing I ever wanted to do. I was like many kids, I guess. I'm like, I'll be a singer, I'll also be a scientist and, you know, I'll invent things and like cure people, do it all be together. a doctor, <laughs> all that stuff as well. Um, but it's just, it's something I always knew I would be doing because um, it's the way that I express my feelings. So whenever I had something I needed to say, it would come out as a song. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that it would be my full-time job though. I, I thought I'd always do it and maybe I'd, you know, be flying to the moon as well. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, but it's just awesome that it's become now, I, I, I'm very lucky to call it my job. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like kind of like a diary, isn't it? You're putting all your thoughts and feelings into songs. Yeah. Which is why I love music personally, and that's obviously yeah. why you like it as well. Yeah. Do you think your brother at all was like an inspiration to you since he played bass, I hear? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he still is. Um, so he and I um, were in a band together when I was, I don't know, 17. 18, 19, maybe all of those years. Um, and I did watch him in his own bands growing up. Um, and so I was like, wow, however, it was like heavy metal. I'm like, I can't sing like that now. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just, I loved the, the energy that it, that it gave him. And like when he got off stage and he was like pumped. And um, so yeah, that's kind of what made me think this is something I can actually try doing. Mm. Um, just school performances and festival performances and uh yeah, he still inspires me today. He uh, he's now into like making guitars and making things. And Does he make your guitars. Um, <laughs> he made me a guitar, Aww. and it was in my "If I Want To" video. Um, yeah, so it's just like, yeah, we don't have uh, we have a couple of musicians in my family, but that's that's it. So yeah, I totally zoned in on my brother and my cousin. I'm like, teach me, teach me all the things. Yeah, so. and that's your older brother. Yes. Oh, yeah. so yeah. I bet he's proud of little little sis. Um, yeah, I don't know. Actually, George we're not, you know, you, they never actually say so, but maybe, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, you'd hope so. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he doesn't think I suck, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> does he like country music? Yeah, I guess he does. that's the question yeah, yeah, yeah. if he's well, into heavy metal. Band, our band was kind of like country music crossover. Um, so, yeah, he was wearing the cowboy hat and everything when we were doing our band. So. In a heavy metal band. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was pretty cool. Interesting crossover. Yeah. Never thought those two would go together. They can go together, believe me. Yeah. yeah. I need to check that out. Is that somewhere for us to check out? Maybe maybe that's my next album direction. No. Um, but, yeah. yeah why not collab, collab with your brother? Yeah, totally. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Now, back in 2008, that's quite a long time ago now, but you auditioned for the Telstra Road to Tamworth yes. and won, so congratulations. Thank you. How was that? Do you, you After that, you got signed um, to ABC Music. Mm -hmm. So did you find it easier to, I guess, in you know getting your music out there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I had never been to Tamworth before. I'd always been really... I'd always loved country music. I really love songwriting and writing... Um, about real things in my life and I found country music was very lyric based yes and so that's kind of what uh, made me really want to head up to Tamworth and just see what it's all about so there was this competition called Telstra Road to Tamworth and I thought I'll try it out I know I won't win first time um, and anyway um, I won the first time and so I, I just kind of, I didn't know what to expect but out of that I did get a record recording contract and agency and all these things that I was just like wow I didn't expect these things to all happen all at once um, so they definitely helped get my music out there and help me shape um, what I wanted to do um, yeah even though I wasn't quite expecting it so it was, it was pretty cool pretty lucky yeah, yeah. yeah. but how do, how do you work the lucky you get that's how I I totally look at think it. so yeah. I think I was ready to just I, I thought that was the first of many things that I would start doing I, I got very lucky on the first time round but I I wasn't, yeah, I think if you think that something is the be-all and end-all, 
yeah. um, then that's kind of an excuse to give up if it doesn't work out. But if you think, I'll just try this mm. and just see. And I think you start stressing yourself out when you think yes. it's, you know, this is it or I totally nothing. was not stressed. I was just like, mm, I'll, mm, just, whatever. Yeah. I'll just go. Got in the car and drove from Melbourne to Tamworth, which is 14 hours. Oh, my God. And I'm just like, just see. Not all in one go, right? It's, um, yeah. Oh, or, my gosh. Um, <laughs> By yourself? No, 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 I had to. No, we had two people and all our gear. So we were all just in the car like, oh, what a great little road trip. Um, but For yeah, 14 was, hours. Yeah. <laughs> but I just, yeah, I loved it. And now I've been going every year ever since. And it's um, country music has been really good to me. And yeah, it's been... It's been fun. Well, it's definitely the genre that suits you, I think. Thank you. Yeah. It's Yeah, stylistically, that's where my music sits. I think um, topically, my, my stuff is... Uh, broad, like it's very general. It's not necessarily just country. Mm. It's about all the feels that yep. everyone feels. All the feels, I love that. Um, so yeah, stylistically, that's where my music sits at the moment. But I think people who um, don't know country music could also um, relate to it or enjoy it as well. Definitely relatable. Yeah, I would say. Thanks. Actually, I've been a fan of yours for a while. Uh, both my mum and I are big fans of country music, cool. and she actually introduced me to. Your, oh. your music, which is great. Thank you, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Um, <laughs> and the first song I heard of yours, and is still like one of my faves, okay. is of course Look It Up. Oh, cool. And then after that, the next song I heard was I Faked It. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's so funny listening back, because they're on my iPod, listening back to them now that I'm older. Yes, yeah. I still have an iPod, guys. <laughs> yes, I am old school. I still got the iPod classic. Um, it's funny listening back to them now, especially I Faked It, because now as an adult, Yes. It's so much more relatable yeah. and you has just a whole different meaning. Whole different meaning. Yes. Cuz I think when you're a kid you're like, oh this just has such a good beat, you know? Yes. There's and then so the lyrics. many pop songs that I think about that like we I had no idea what they were about like growing up. Yeah, you're just like oh, And then you're bopping cool along song. to yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, they all a escape song that's right just, now that's you know, just inappropriate. totally inappropriate yeah. and you're like yeah um, my body and you're like oh okay cool I'm five singing yeah. about my body um, <laughs> but yeah it's healthy it has many different kinds of ways of understanding it you can be faking a smile you can be faking whatever or yeah. whatever you want um, but it's it's just a fun song to do live and I think um, that song really opened up just a whole kind of uh, a new feel um, mm. I actually naturally wrote ballads a whole lot better. I loved the whole really deep and meaningful stories, which I still love right now. Um, but it kind of opened up the door to it. It's really fun to do Some stuff that's stuff, just not yeah. necessarily true, or just just to say it because it's funny. And that stuff um, has been really fun to do live. And and I now write some more of that kind of stuff. And it's um. You yeah, put a, you put a bit of attitude into it, and I love it. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, why put yourself into just one little box of doing one? Thing, you know, yeah. so that's kind of why I really I enjoy doing that song live. Yeah. Was that song based on a true story? As no, well? Oh, well, I didn't actually write. I faked it. I faked oh. it was a song that we um, had heard in Nashville, and so uh, I was writing mainly just like heartfelt, um, you know, ballads, the ballads at the time. Yeah. And so, yeah, no, it's no, nothing based on my particular life, but. Um, but it's fun. I'm sure it's still relatable yeah. in your life so, sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Everybody goes listen to that song. I know, like, it's such a throwback. But it is a bit now yeah. that now that I look at it. Yeah, but it was good. It was a good song, definitely. And Thank put you. it on your iPod if you still have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. on vinyl. No, it's not. No, no it's not. <laughs> not that old. <laughs> You yeah. could bring that back. I know a lot of uh, artists are doing that now. I, I have actually got um, my If I Want To album on, on vinyl. vinyl. Yes. Cool. And it was just, it, it was like quite a moment for me. I'm like, oh my God, you know, it's like almost life size, um, the the album cover. And you listen to it and, and it's, um they have to compress it to get to fit it all on the vinyl so it sounds a little bit chipmunky all of my <laughs> all of my that's album, my voice <laughs> yeah i'm just like really but yeah it feels really cool i did yeah. not know that yeah. i just learned something new today there so you thank go. you <laughs> and you are becoming like one of australia's most admired vocalists songwriters and entertainers and for those who don't know you've won a lot of awards <laughs> 
as well from CMC Female Oz Artist of the Year and 2013 CMA International Artist of the Year. You've been a Golden Guitar finalist nine times. That's amazing. And you were the first female solo artist to ever win CMC Australian Artist of the Year. Mm. Congratulations. Thank you. Is that like a little... Do you have to pinch yourself sometimes? (laughs) Uh, Yes, but it's also... I just feel really lucky to get to do what I do anyway as a job. And so kind of awards and things they're never a goal it's never something that you think I'm going to record this song so as then I get a you know a shiny metal trophy it's never about the trophies but just the fact that I I get to communicate things and people feel that they can relate to them Hmm. and they can like own them as their own song as well and enough people do that that they want to nominate me for an award that is the amazing thing the connection of all of us and so yeah and you know it's nice to polish them and shine them up and, you know, whatever, but mainly it's Are they about... all in, like, a trophy cabinet at home now? <laughs> no, they're all in a row. Actually, my mum's got some, so they're all over the place, really, but, um, yeah, it's it's fun. It's good. You're so humble about it. It's fantastic. Oh. Some people would be like, yes, I've won that many awards. I've won so many awards. <laughs> I can't even count. No. Um, I just think, yeah, we don't. none of us do it for the awards. We're just so lucky to be able to do this day-to-day, yeah. you know, and so... And full-time, not just... It's... As a side project. Yeah, it's, I'm super lucky. I'm just, yeah. Because you had to start it off as a bit of a side project, did you, at the beginning? Um, uh, yes, I was studying and writing on the side and had my bands and things like that. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I was so lucky that I got um, signed to ABC like straight after I'd finished studying. So it was like my first full-time job was a recording artist. Oh. That's I know, fantastic. I know. It's like, it's like, oh, what? Who needs trophies when that's the case? It's just, yeah, it was, yeah. And the dream came cool. true. Pretty cool. Into a reality. That's great. Yeah. And how have you found it being in the spotlight now? Is that a hard to get used to? Uh, how so? It's, mm, no, not really. I think if you're being what you want to be and you're communicating what you want to communicate, then you want to be not in the spotlight but you want to be communicating that yes so um and I I try not to think about it as like a spotlight because then you're more disconnected from people Mm. I know I've said the word connect a lot but I feel like that's what music does um so yeah I try not to think about it as spotlight but now that you've said spotlight I'm totally freaked out (laughs) I'm in the spotlight what (laughs) no well, in a way, like, you, you have so many people looking up to you, you know, heaps, heaps of fans and followers. That's got to be a little nerve-wracking, right? Um, Not to make you, make you even more nervous no, about that. No, I actually <laughs> don't think of it like that. I think of it as, like, a community because people on oh, my great. Facebook are all friends with each other as well. And so it's more like... You know, we like, and I, we're all fans of the same type of music. Like, I, it's not just my music that they're fans of. They love, you know, artists that I also love. So it's more, yeah. yeah it's not. I, I don't see it as like people looking up to me. I think of it as we're all people who have similar interests and stuff to talk about. So it's that's beautiful. I like yeah, that. I, that's so much. That's so, just so much better. It just. I don't want to close myself off from people. You yeah, know? yeah. I'm Jasmine Ray. I live, live in a weird yeah. bubble. No, I just no, I don't want to. No. Yeah. And and in this industry, and I guess just life in general, mm-hmm. there are unfortunately people that you know kind of put people down and just kind of always want to look at the negatives in life. Um, has that been an issue with you? Have you had any issues with haters or people oh, bullying um, you, especially oh, with online now? Yeah. Well, don't I don't read YouTube comments. Um, that is a good thing. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes my mum does. Sometimes, because you know, my mum is a fan of my music, um, luckily, and so she'll go on and read comments. I'm like, mum, don't read comments. They're like people from all over the world who don't know you. And sometimes people, you know, trolls. They just want to say stuff just to say something mean. And so yeah. don't read those things. Like you almost have to laugh at them. Yeah, because they're like almost... protected behind the computer. They wouldn't say it to your face. No, exactly. It's almost like yeah. And so, no, I, I have, I definitely have got haters, um, but not, not anything that kind of gets to gets me, to not me. anything like close enough, you know, mm. I don't let it close enough. Yeah. You know, it's just like, yeah, it's, it's on the other side of it's the It's on screen. the other side. Yeah. It's behind me. Yeah. yeah. It's Is all it... behind me now. <laughs> it's all behind me. <laughs> there you go. That could be another song. There you go. Um, so the advice, what advice would you give to the listeners who might be experiencing that? Just... 
ignore it? I think if you're uh, no, no one's you're not going to be someone who everyone likes. Likes, yeah. People and some people just like to hate on people. It's their hobby. Um, and so uh, don't take that away from them. <laughs> Let them have that hobby, and it's and be sure that you're not going to be their only target. It may seem that way just for right now, um, but they they'd have other targets in their life. It's not actually your business or problem at all. It's their problem. Yeah. And as soon as and I, I definitely have been caught up in it before, but as soon as you realise that it's like no no no, other people's opinions of me are not my business. Mm. Um, love that quote <laughs> it just it makes everything so much easier you're like yeah. cool I just have to do what I think is right I don't and, and what yeah don't waste your time that's it yeah for yeah. all you know they could be just copying and pasting that exact same comment on heaps so of people's YouTube people. exactly yeah. and so for you they haven't even wasted enough time to actually think about what's it, what they're saying so don't waste a moment on them in yeah. my opinion that, I know it's good... easier said than done sometimes yes. Um, but that is, yeah, that's that's my advice to you. Thank you. It's very helpful. Thank I do you. love how positive and humble you are and so passionate about your music. Thank it's you. fantastic. And I unfortunately haven't been able to see you live before. Oh. Really want to. Except right now. Except, yeah, except right now. Yeah. But I mean, like, <laughs> live in concert, of course. Yeah, yeah. But I have heard that you are, like, full of energy and passion on stage as well. So I've definitely got to come see you eventually come to a show yes uh, and in 2015 and 16 you headlined your first ever national tour mm-hmm. and i've seen photos of how many people are in the crowd like do you get nervous on stage <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah um but i get nervous before i answer the telephone so i just i'm like someone who's like oh <laughs> what, my god what do i say what's happening um and so again i kind of think of it as just like um as long as you know why you're doing it um, preparation is key, but then, mm. you know, so obviously know what songs you're going to sing before. I have dreams. I know I'm on a, going on a weird tangent. I have I dreams like all the time <laughs> where I am about to go on stage and like suddenly the band are playing songs. I have no idea what they are. And I look at the set list and I'm like, that's my handwriting, but I have no idea what these songs are. And so like, and then I look and I'm wearing no pants and it's just like, you know, and so. Just, the worst nightmare of all. Like, yeah. Like you just have to be as prepared as possible. Wear pants. If you're pre- planning to wear pants, know the songs you're going to. If you want to go in your birthday to. suit, that's your sure. own choice. <laughs> um, but just know what you're doing generally. I actually practice the show in my lounge room as the show. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just that's impressive. Well, it's impressive for the neighbours who get to hear it over and over again. They're like, <laughs> sure, shut up. Yeah, I'm but, not um, buying tickets. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to. They've heard it 50 times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just like to know what's going on. But then before you get on stage, you kind of just throw it out the window because mm. different stuff happens when you're on stage. It's different to being in your lounge room. Yeah, the crowd is different exactly, than your lounge room. <laughs> exactly. And you don't want to ignore what's happening on stage. Yes. Um, you want to be present and let it be its own little world. You know, like I can be as crazy as I want to be on this stage because this is not, not like this is a, a high, yeah, heightened world. This is like an imaginary place up here. Um, and so, yeah, know what you're doing, but then also just go with the flow. Somehow find a balance of those two and then the nerves kind of disappear. But they're there at the beginning. They always are. That's yeah. just... Never gotten that answer before. That's amazing. About the weird dream tangent. No, no, not oh. the weird dream. <laughs> I think everybody has had, yeah. if you're an artist, mm. that sort of dream anyway. So I don't feel bad. Oh, good. But I just mean the preparation. Yeah. Everybody should practice in their lounge room. Why not? Yeah. 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 That's I great. definitely. I've, I've had um, Jason Owen on the show from uh, X Factor and he, he does country music mm-hmm. as well. And his answer to that I question know. was really good too. And he... Um, was saying you know if I wasn't nervous it means I don't care about it anymore mm-hmm. it's good to have that a little bit of nerves just because you know you want it to go right yes. yeah yes absolutely yeah and that's why you get that those little bit of nerves just before you actually walk out on stage yeah, yeah. or do anything and I, I was reading something um nerves are a good thing because they show you're about to do something brave Ooh, you know? I like that and it's like yeah, be brave. Be nervous and feel the fear and do it anything anyway. Just be brave. Yeah. yeah. Step outside that comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, Jasmine Ray says you can do it. You can do it. Mm. Um, 
Now, you have also recorded songs with US artists like Joe Nichols and Kelly Pickler. That's a fantastic song, by the way. Thank you. As well as performed in arena shows with Brooks and Dunn and Alan Jackson. I am so jealous, by the way. Like, that is amazing. So, congratulations. Thank you. How are they to work with? Do you have a favourite that stands out? I do. I, I... I, I'm not even going to lie. Um, they were all so lovely and supportive and real. Um, they were not just like, this is my dressing room, that's yours, don't talk yeah. to me. They were so very much like, you know, if you need help on anything, contact oh, me and beautiful. all that stuff. Um, but I loved working with Kelly. Yeah. Kelly and I still She looked like a contact. lot of fun. She is just the <laughs> awesomest human. I know awesomest is not a word, but she's just, her energy is really cool and... Um, but she's not, she, there's so many layers to her, um, like everyone, yeah, you know, exactly. and so she's just real and it was, yeah, a whole lot of fun. And we got to be cartoons in our video clip. Yes, I noticed. Yeah, that is so, awesome. Yeah. yeah. And it's such a fun song and it's great that you can just literally be yourself in a video clip. Yes. Yeah. You know, just two silly. girls just being silly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is awesome. And, and Kelly's doing amazing stuff. Like I just heard that she's just, um, her and Faith Hill are about to do a talk show. That's amazing. I can and Faith imagine Hill's that. Be executive producer, but I can imagine that Kelly is great because she had her um, her reality TV show as well. I heart mm. Kelly Pickler, and it was just hilarious. Just her being her regular self is just hilarious because of her accent and just her the, the way she's so free spirited. Yeah. Just like one day she's like, let's go get chickens, and then just suddenly <laughs> like the whole episode's about chickens. It was just a random show. I just think. Yeah, there should be more Kelly Picklers in the world. Yeah, yeah. I think she's a, a great role model, especially with what you just said. Yes. With, you know, she's got so many layers, but she's just real. Mm -hmm. Like that whole reality show is her just being her. Yeah. I think that's a great life lesson for all of us that we should be. You don't have to be like anybody else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Be unapologetically yourself. Yes. That's, I like quote. that. Quote. Well, that was actually a Lily Singh quote from YouTube. But you said it right woman, now, but so quite, yeah. Quote Lauren Yates, yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's an amazing quote. It's in, I got heaps of quotes yeah. in my room and my bathroom, and that's one memes. of them. Yeah, yeah memes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not memes, but <laughs> I could do memes. Thank you for the yeah. idea. <laughs> and even though you've already achieved so much in your career, Jasmine, amazing songs, what else can we expect from you in the future? Oh, many things, I hope. Because um, as I was telling you, I had lots of things that I wanted to do and so I'm still doing um, I don't like to put yeah I've never only had one goal and so therefore that's good you got working on all always have the other stuff I'm moving into a bit of acting at the moment Ooh. I've been studying for about a year now um, and I just I love the process of becoming a character and learning all about it because what I really love is telling stories and so as we found out <laughs> yeah you can do that like through song and, and through a live performance or through writing or through yeah like theatre or screen acting and so I just want to figure out all the ways that I can tell stories and just yeah get it's I love just creating oh, and being part of um, created worlds just like imagination where can it go mm. um, and so that's yeah I'm just discovering all of that stuff at the moment and I'm working on some uh, a new musical project which is still under wraps but it's coming Ooh. out you know probably next year sometime and so yeah it's I've got lots of stuff on the go which okay. is good so we should just maybe go on social media and all your website on Facebook and, and be keep part of my it out. social network, network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Community, network. <laughs> yeah. We know what you meant. Yeah. yeah. I can totally see the acting though. And I think as a, being a musical artist. Um, it makes sense. There's so many people doing that now. Yes. And the great thing is you can, usually they get you to record a song as well and put it in like the end credits usually in a movie, don't they? Usually it's probably not quite that simple, but yeah, it would be, I'd love that. I just see it a lot. Yeah, yeah, know. it's just like, oh, you act in this, sing you, this song. You sing this song. Um, no, but I'd love, I just think. That would be a good opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. I just think all of it. Just let's do all of it. Let's do it together. Yeah. All that stuff. Is there any particular character that you'd love to play? Would you like to be oh. like the, the bad girl or? <laughs> oh, that's a really cool question. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't thought about it. Um, I do. I don't know. I'll do all of it. Let's see. You challenge yourself. Yeah. I can see both. I can see both. There's definitely both. Definitely. You're the good girl, but I, I, I can see. No, I'm I think sometimes you'd be very... really terribly mean. 
ask yeah Sorry, ask my ask, partner yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah it's just yeah let's see it because I think everyone's got a little bit of everything in them yes and so don't deny that bring out the weird you know yeah I love that bring out the weird yeah there you go another quote it. Jasmine Ray. <laughs> and before we move on to the Rave It Up game, cool. yes, there's a game we're going to play. Yay. What advice would you give to the listeners who might want to follow their dreams of becoming a singer? Yeah. Or an actor, since or you're going down that, that road now. I, I think, yeah, I, I've learnt, there are you know many things I've learnt the hard way as well. Like, you can think about something, and that's great, it's really good to plan and practice, but um, it's also really good to just get out there and do it too mm-hmm. because sometimes you can overthink oh, and yeah, so definitely. try and walk the line between you know yes prepare and you know get ready for it but don't wait until you're ready mm. just be like just see what happens and know that no matter what happens on that first few times you do it you're going to be okay like some t- I remember my very first time on stage I like messed up and said oopsie and ran off crying Aww. And so, you know, but I totally, I actually, yeah, I walked off and I'm like, still thought like, hopefully that guy that I like watched, that big grade three guy, I hope he like <laughs> watched that performance because like there were some notes in there that were great. So just focus on like the stuff that you did well and yeah, just see it as a learning thing. Just just do it and learn and enjoy That's it. That's what life is about. Yeah. yeah. That's great advice. Thank you very Thank much you. for that, Jasmine. Hey, ole, ole. It is now time for the legendary Rave It Up 2 Minute Hot Seat. For all the new listeners and for you, Jasmine, how this game works is I ask you various questions and you just have to pick your preference. Okay. So it's like Coco Pepsi, Cats or Dogs. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. And you have to answer as many questions in two minutes as possible. All right. It's pretty intense, but it's lots of fun. Okay. And when we finish, I can see how many questions you answered and see where you sit on the leaderboard up against everyone else that's played the game on the show. Oh, okay. So 135. Wow, it's competitive. Yeah, 135 <laughs> people play this. Should I do some stretches? Right. Yeah. Oh, whatever you want to do, okay. whatever makes you feel comfortable. Oh, great. Uh, so the top of the leaderboard has answered 101 questions. Damn. I know. That was her second time, though, so she had a bit of an advantage. She yeah. knew what was coming. She practiced in it. Uh, the person on the, on the uh, sitting second answered 92, and that was his first time. Okay. So. All right. Let's see what you... Come on, girl power. All I right, believe in you. All right, let's do it. All right. Are you all ready? Yes. I've got the stopwatch here. Make sure she doesn't read the questions. That would be cheating. All right. You ready? Okay, three, two, one. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. iPhone or Blackberry? iPhone. Apple or Android? Apple. Rap or rock? Oh, rap. Rock or pop? Rock. Pop or country? Country. Beach or mountains? Pool. Mountains. Beach or pool? Pool. Skiing or snowboarding? Skiing. Comedy or action? Comedy. Blondes or brunettes? Brunettes. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Sunglass or hat? Mm. Wear both. Slip, slap, slap. Um, (laughs) Hat. (laughs) It's to be a convertible. Um, uh, SUV. Mac or PC? Mac. PlayStation or Wii? Wii. Singing or dancing? Mm -hmm. Singing. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Italian or Chinese food? Italian. Summer or winter? Summer. Kim Kardashian or Scarlett Johansson? Scarlett. Johnny Depp or Will Smith? Johnny Depp. Mall or online shopping? Mm, Mall. Cinema or home movie? Cinema. Ice cream or gelato? Oh, ice cream. Cake or cookies? Cookies. Cookies or cookie dough? Cookies. Family or friends? Oh, family. Football or soccer? Uh, football. Christmas or your birthday? Christmas. Night or day? Day. Bus or train? Train. Straight or curly hair? Mmm, straight. I call blue or brown? Brown. Vampire or werewolf? Mmm, vampire. Texting or calling? Texting. Sydney or Melbourne? Melbourne. Friday or Saturday? Uh, mm, uh Friday. TV or movies? Movies. Starbucks or glory jeans? Oh, Starbucks. Snow or surf? Oh, it's snow. Harry Potter or Twilight? Harry Potter. Family Guy or The Simpsons? Oh, Simpsons. McDonald's or Hungry Jacks? McDonald's. Red Rooster or KFC? Red Rooster. French fries or chips? Chips. Burger or hot dog? Hot dog. Pies or sausage rolls? Sausage rolls. Tomato sauce or barbecue sauce? Tomato sauce. Guitar or drums? Guitar. Sneakers or thongs? Did you say sneakers? Sneakers or oh. thongs. <laughs> sneakers. Um, thongs. Bike or scooter? Uh, bike. Leather or denim? Oh, both. Uh, denim. City or country? Uh, the country. Biting your nails or picking your nose? <laughs> picking your nose. <laughs> tattoos or piercings? Oh, uh, tattoos. Backpack or suitcase? Backpack. Pen or pencil? Uh, pencil. Mum or dad? Mm, oh, damn. Mum. Headphones or speakers? 
um, headphones. And we're out of time. Yeah. That was really hard. Some of us are hard. I'm, Mom I'm, or dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Friends or family. Okay, cool. So sometimes, sometimes people just do like the both. Or oh, none, I was allowed to say both. I should have said that, but oh, you know, my God. I feel like it's a way of cheating. <laughs> I think that's cheating. I think I should get extra points for not cheating not and cheating? choosing between my mother How and father. How many extra points? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I definitely like twenty-five extra points, guys. Yeah, twenty-five extra points. All right. <laughs> That's a little. No, that's that's a lot. All right. Uh, <laughs> How many questions do you think you answered in that time? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. You answered a lot more than that. Did I? Yes. Oh wow. Would you like to know? You're speaking straight to my subconscious. I mean, speak, yeah. Okay. You answered 60 questions. Wow. And you were sitting at number 28 on the radio. 28 is my favourite number. Is it really? Yes. Are you just saying that? No. <laughs> it's not. There you go. It's meant to be. Yeah. So you just have to come back on the it's show. It's a little bit far away from number one, which I is know. also my favourite number. I thought you would have been in the top ten, but that's Damn. okay. Damn. Okay. Next time, you just have to come back on the show. Try now that again. I know I can say both. Yeah, it's going to be different next. Oh God, time. she's going to say for every single both, question. Both, both, both. both. Oh look and at one that! Time I thought you were 100. saying chocolate, and you were saying something about shoes. So I was, it was a confusing time. Yes, yeah, sn- sneakers or yeah. thongs. <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> yeah, I think she's hungry. <laughs> what yeah, do you well, think? <laughs> yeah. Well, it, the tenth on the leaderboard uh, answered seventy-eight. So okay, let's try to get you I in the top that. ten next top time. Top ten next time. I, th- I think you can do it. Mm, yeah. I think so too. Yeah, definitely. Now that you know what's coming, I'm going to practice in my lounge room. It's gonna. It's That's gonna where you just practice everything, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Mom, just just test me. Yeah. Yeah. So, looking forward to having you back on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. for having me. No, you're welcome. We are unfortunately getting to the end of the interview. It's been a lot of fun, and I really appreciate your time. And Thank I'm, you. you're a busy woman. But as a closing statement, mm-hmm. and was probably the most important question. Mm. A bit more serious now. Knowing what you know now, what would you tell your 14 year old self? Oh, he is. He has nothing to do with how you're going to feel about yourself. Interesting. Yeah. That was deep. Yeah. (laughs) I was so obsessed. I'll tell you the story. I was so obsessed with my best friend growing up. um, And I just thought, one day when he loves me, then I can love myself. Like, I actually thought that was a thing. Wow. And I don't even talk. And not that I have any beef. Like, yeah, but I don't talk to him now. And I'm so fine. You know what I mean? So it's like, wow, built my whole world around something that you think it's a huge deal when you're 14 because you don't have, you don't know. Mm. And um, yeah, it just, there's life after that. And there's life after school. That's something that oh, yes. I wish I could tell. Yeah, because you think high school is just everything, but it's not. Especially when everything's, so much pressure is put on like the HSC. Yes. It's like one exam to dictate the rest of your life. And, it, and I just and find it's that not unfair. really. It's no. not really because there's just so many different roads to get to where you want to go. And then you may even choose a different road when you finally get to where you thought you wanted to go. That is true as well. So, yeah, take the pressure off. Just just breathe. Yeah. <laughs> That's a song, isn't it? Just Faith breathe. Yeah, it is a Faith Hill song. Breathe. There you go. Breathe. Shout out to her if yeah. she's listening. There you I'm go. sure she is. Of course. She always watches my videos. <laughs> Who knows? After this, she may. Yeah. Who knows? Now, uh, before we go, if the listeners would like to contact you, Jasmine, or find out what you're up to, where should they go? They should go to my, well, there's jasmineray.com. That has everything on there. Um, And it'll (laughs) take you to my Facebook where I answer all the comments and my Instagram and all that stuff. And please come and chat to me because I just, it's all about the connection. I can't wait to chat to you. Yeah, and she's lovely. Take take. Take it from me. I'm sitting right next to her. We're drinking tea. <laughs> While drink, drinking tea. We haven't eaten any of our food, but that's Yet. all right. We can do it when the camera's off. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show today, thank Jasmine. You. I really appreciate your time. And we have to have you on again in the future, I think. I would love to. It was yeah. so fun. Thank you. You're welcome back at any time. So you just awesome. let me know if you have something to promote or something. Just Great. I will. Give me a call. <laughs> awesome. But for everyone watching, make sure to check out Jasmine's awesome songs. And why not go... Get her album Heartbeat while you're at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.